Welcome back to NM Serena. In this video, we are going to discuss the financial market. First of all, let us see what is the meaning of a financial market. It is that arrangement that facilitates the buying and selling of financial assets, claims and services, just like any other market. It is a place where the buying and selling of financial assets are undertaken. Just like a, a market for fish. In a fish market, we buy and sell fish. In a financial market, we buy and sell financial assets. Now let us discuss the functions of financial markets. The first function is that it facilitates the creation and allocation of credit. It helps in mobilizing of the small scale savings as well as large scale savings if it is a capital market. And then it allocates the savings to the productive ventures. And it acts as an intermediary for mobilization of savings. Then it supports in the balanced economic growth. It also provides financial convenience. And it catered to the credit needs of business houses. Mainly business houses. It also supports the individuals and government also. Next, let us discuss the types of financial market. It includes capital market, money market and forex market or foreign exchange market. What are these different types of financial markets? The first one is the capital market. The capital market is the institutional arrangement for borrowing and lending of long-term fund. The market where long-term finance is bought and sold is the capital market. And next comes the money market. It is the market where short-term funds are bought and sold. The money market instruments like commercial papers, commercial bills, treasury bills, etc. are the financial assets which are mainly used in the money market. So, this is the market where these instruments are bought and sold. Next type of financial market is the forex market or the foreign exchange market. It is a market for foreign currencies and this market is important in the case of exports, imports and foreign capital movement etc. Let us discuss the functions of a capital market. First important function is that it mobilizes the financial resources throughout the country. Another one is that it supports in securing foreign capital and know-how for increasing the economic growth of the country. And it also helps in allocating the resources to high yielding projects. It supports in channelizing the financial resources to some productive projects or investments. Now let us see what are the functions of a money market. It helps in facilitating the creation and allocation of high liquid instruments. It also supports in mobilization of savings and also assists in the process of balanced economic growth just like the capital market and it also supports and cater to the needs of the business houses not only business houses the individuals and government are also supported by the money market next let us discuss the difference between the capital market and the money market which is very important The first important difference of capital market and money market is that capital market provides finance for long term or for a period exceeding one year, above one year. And in the case of money market, it provides fund for only a short period, which is less than one year. And the next point of difference is that capital market is a link between the investors and entrepreneurs 
and money market act as a link between depositors and borrowers. And the next is underwriting is one of the main functions in the capital market, but in the case of money market, it is only a secondary function. And the capital market supports in meeting the long term financial requirements of the government, while the money market supports the short term financial requirements of the government. The next point of difference is that the main instruments dealt with in the capital market are the shares, debentures and long term loans while the instruments dealt in the money market are the treasury bills, commercial bills, money at call and short notice etc. And the financial institutions that are important in capital market are the investment banks, insurance companies and the finance houses but in the case of money market it is the commercial banks and the central bank. And the next point of difference is that capital market here in this case the degree of risk is very high but in the case of money market the risk is low because they deal with only short term instruments. The next point is that capital market is regulated by SEBI but money market is regulated by the central bank. These are the main differences between the capital market and the money market. This is the end of this video. Thank you for watching it and for more videos subscribe the channel.